I wanted to rant for a moment. Um, I guess I can put this in a recovery of anxiety because... Because first of all, I know I'm still uploading videos of that, but those were a month ago, I want to say, and since then, um, I have not been anxious, um, I mean, I still have my moments, but they're, uh, tolerable, <clears throat> they're tolerable, and, um, I've been managing them, um, I still, because of the coronavirus, I'm still going to, um, counseling. Um, I see my school counselor every Wednesday, and we talk through it, so. And, I guess, I guess we can talk about it. Um, I'm eating goldfish, so I apologize if I'm pausing for a minute to have goldfish at 10 o'clock at night. I was thinking of putting this in our in our sleepless nights, but it's not late. <laughs> um... I was actually this close to falling asleep a while ago, but because I'm watching a new show, I had to stay up. Um, give me one moment, and I'll be right back. Okay, so, yeah, um, sorry your angled weird, you're on my laptop, I'm currently watching, uh, Lock and Key, um, because... Because of my last anxiety, I have been doing a lot more things with my life than um, worrying about shit and hating myself. So, I mean, I still hate myself, but nothing else is new there. But I, I kind of consider that I guess now is not the time to exactly worry about it. Because since we're all quarantined, you can't go anywhere. I Meaning I shouldn't obsess over all of that shit, but I still do anyways. But it's like... Nothing's new. Um, I've been doing a lot. Um, I've been doing a lot of things. Um, because I have le have been having less anxiety. Um, first of all, I've been sleeping a lot better. Um, and I've been getting a lot of stuff done. I. Well, first of all, I've been reading a lot. Um, I ordered new books online because, well, two new books online because I'm running out of books. I, you might think that, you might think that that's crazy, you know, but it's like, I have limited books. I finished 20, 25, maybe more books because not only did I get rid of a lot when, I'm because I'm selling books, so I I because a lot of the books that I have are like books I have not read like at all, or it's just like I didn't really have a reason for getting them, so I've been like I went through and got rid of over half of my books because most of them were baby books like for kindergartners, um, so I got rid of a, a lot of those, and I think I just got rid of, like, seven of them the other day, because I was just looking through and seeing, like, what book to read next, because I've already finished, like, all my main ones, um, I have, there's only, a f there's only a few that I can't read for, because, you know, sequels, um, <clears throat> and, I mean, don't get me wrong, I still have, like, a whole freaking manga collection, and warrior series books to read, and that I will be getting to, but I've been currently reading The 39 Clues. I have seen these books in, in elementary school. Actually, let me, let me see when these first came out. So, 
the first book, Maze of Bones, didn't come out. Didn't come out until. 2008. The next one didn't come out until 2009. So it seems like there's. 11 books. Assumingly. Uh, one, yeah. And then there's. Some card packs, I guess, because there's cards for the game. Anyways, I got these at Goodwill, and I've seen these since elementary school, so these have obviously been around a little after I've been alive, um, so that's pretty interesting. And I never got, I've never fully got into them, because I was more obsessed with, like, the Warrior series by uh, Aaron Hunter, and, like, the Seekers, um... Uh, the Bone Books, like, I've been obsessed with all of those ones, so the 39 Clues didn't really, like, pique my interest until now. I never realized how much of a good book it was. Um, it's really interesting. It's got a lot of family rivalry in it and a lot of, like, mysteries and, uh, close deaths. So, yeah. Um, next book I got was this. It's, um, Changing the With the Tides by Shelby Lay. It's, um... A poem book, essentially. I saw one of these poems on Instagram, and I thought that I thought it was really interesting. So I had to find it. Um, I it was this one called here called Anxiety. To Anxiety, it's called Every Conversation I Have be Becomes Your New Favorite Song, and you play it on repeat. Only pressing pause once I've realized every word. You've made me fear the sound of my own voice. And there's just so much in here. Like, to the one who always wins, to my dark cloud, to the one I pulled, to the one I pushed away, to the one who doesn't need me anymore. Like, she has some really deep shit in here. Like, to anxiety number two, the one who hurt me, the one who stole from me, lied from me, hold me back, the one I fear the one who gave up on me, the one I can't forget, like, there's so much in here, so much that I relate to, and I wanted to read through them, because, I don't know, maybe it'll put my mind at ease more, because, because lately, like, I've not been having anxiety, I've been having a lot of regrets of my past, and, all the shit that I haven't done because I was too afraid to. Because I grew up a coward and I was too afraid. And I don't want to live my life in fear. I don't... I just don't want to live like that. I want to be able to stand up for myself. I want to be able to get angry when I'm supposed to and not, you know, shut down or cry and be upset. Like, I know that's also a good, like, a normal thing too, but it's like... God, there's so many times I have wanted to scream at people. So many times I've wanted to get my voice out. I wanted to get my words out, but I couldn't say anything. There were many times I wanted to do that, to scream at my stepfather. There's so much anger and betrayal and self and just loathing in general towards him because all the shit he did... I will never forget what he did to me, to my mom, to my family. He may be gone. My mom may have stopped seeing him for good. But he's he's like a birthmark. A stupid fucking imprint that's always going to be there no matter what. What happens? And that's gonna, that's trauma I'm gonna have to work through. But he is always gonna be there, and I don't want him to be. But he's not sponsored, but I really suggest you get this. Um, her poems are amazing, so yeah. Uh, the next one I bought was The Merciless 2. Um, 
y'all didn't know, this is by Daniel Vega. I have her two other books. She's amazing, too. She writes the best, well, not the best, but she writes one of the best horror, a couple of the best horror stories that I have read. Um, you should get The Merciless One and Survive the Night. Both really amazing, and I'm reading Merciless 2 because it's The Exorcism of Sofia Flores. Just a heads up, has to do with demons and Satan, so... It's really interesting, though. Um, I really recommend it. That has 30 chapters in it. And then I have all the bright places. I have the book. If you have seen the movie, the movie's on Netflix. I really recommend that you watch that, too, because... Oh, my God. I fucking cried. I cried so bad while watching this movie, and I'm pretty sure you all will, too. So that's another one that I have. Um, so once I'm finished with the other 39 clues, I'm going to read Merciless 2. And then go on to all the bright places. Um, and check out the poem book. So, I got a few while of books to stack up on. Um, I also finished a story the other day, so I'm pretty ha happy about that. Um, speaking of stories, that's kind of like the reason I wanted to come on here, because I wanted to talk about my stories. I gotta do this another way so I can get comfortable. Um, so... If y'all read my stories, which I'm pretty sure none of you do, but to people out there that do read my stories, um, first of all, I apologize. <laughs> Just gonna state that I will apologize if things were a little bit awkward. But I want to say before you judge me for what I write, people's writings are far more... What's the word? Far more... Worse than mine. Not worse in a bad way, worse... In a... Lustful way. Let's put it that way. So y'all cannot judge me for what I write. First of all, because I'm almost 18. So, put it that way. Um... And second of all, I honestly don't believe anyone out there hasn't written stuff like that. And I know people have. So you can't come at me. Because I do the normal shit. Just gonna put it out there. Called fan fictions for a reason. No, but anyways, I didn't want to talk about that. I wanted to talk about... I know that my stories are kind of similar. <clears throat> I know that the outlining and the plot and the chapters are basically similar. Introduction and character problems, meeting the guy, falling in love with the guy, shit happens, a lot of shit happens, happily ever after, and sometimes sequels. I get it. But growing up, I have only been able to to do fan fiction because I grew up watching cute guys who play on play games on YouTube. So obviously, actually, it was not fan fiction at first. It was honestly just general fiction. Um, and it mainly was just like putting myself in a situation that'll never happen. Mainly putting myself like, uh, let's see, putting myself meeting Markiplier. Putting myself being a part of Team Crafted when they were a thing. Like, it mainly went from there, and then it's... It kind of went on to fan fiction By, like, watching Avengers, um, X-Men. You know, because it's, like, in, in that general area, it's, like, they are close to my age, somewhat. Um, I know some people are accounted for being older, but... Stemmed from, actually, it started from Supernatural, I think. Supernatural was, like, the first sets of fan fiction I started to write because, um, just, yeah, I don't know how you could not write fan, fan, write fan fiction about those cute hunks of men. But, I mean, it's just, like, it's, it just was, like, any regular fan fiction, you know? And I've had my, I don't know, how long have I had my Wattpad account for? I've only had my Wattpad account for maybe three years. 
I wonder. I'm not sure. Because I didn't stumble upon Wattpad until... I don't know. So... Oh no, I've had this since 2015. So I've had this account for five years. So I definitely did discover it when I was living with my dad at our very old apartment complex. So I think someone suggested it to me. Probably someone from school, I'm assuming. I don't exactly remember because my memory is shot now. But it was, it went from Supernatural to Avengers because I remember writing a Loki story that I have to fix because holy shit, I was bad at fan fiction back then, believe it or not. Because, yeah, back then, I was not good at writing. It was just the start of me writing. So, the chapters would be one paragraph. And I think that's why they stayed at 21 chapters. Because it's just been that way. Even though starting, because... Even though actually starting back then, first writing at 11, my I was handwriting. I first hand wrote um, two stories that were, I think, maybe... 11 to 12 chapters long that's not very long but a couple pages you know all that i don't have them unfortunately i don't know what i did with them because i could have sworn i didn't throw them away i could have sworn they were in a notebook they might be in a box somewhere i'm not too sure but anyways that's not the point <laughs> i'm rambling here i'm sorry i get my inspiration from not only watching just general things having to do with said character, like Supernatural, X-Men, Avengers, you know, same goes with anime, same goes for pretty much anything that I watch. I will always find some way to connect storylines or connect something that I watch to a story. Like, say, Rapunzel, I came up with the idea of this new story called Never Seen the Outside World. Nothing to, has nothing to do with Rapunzel at all. Has nothing to do with like how anything like the movie. Basically just actually in that one it's an X-Men story about Logan that this girl her uncle uh is keeping her inside because the outside world is a dangerous place and she has the power to heal healing communication and from princess and the frog with dr facilier facilier i think that's how you pronounce it i'm not sure has shadows for friends so shadow manipulation put another x-men story there you go the shadows are my friends i think that's what the title is uh something like that and there's just many, many story titles. There's, there's book generators that I have on my Wattpad account because there's or book titles. Um, mainly, I just pick, I pick what sounds either depressing or mysterious or kind of like a love story and then go from there. It's hard to explain it. But if you've written for as long as I have, then you just kind of easily know what it's going to be about and, like, how to come up with said things. It's the same way when reading other people's stories and reading actual books. I generally only know how to do fan fiction because it's my comfort zone. But I have seen and, like, I have seen on TikTok that... You know, maybe doing something outside your comfort zone. Like, I've been trying to do a new book called The Last One Left, where this girl just realizes that she's the only one left on the wa left on the planet. Um, and, like, what would you do if you were in that situation? I have not gotten to it yet. I've written a little bit of it, and I know I can write more if I could. But it's like, fan fiction is my comfort zone to... extent. And it's like... I have these great ideas in my head that somehow just don't turn how I want it to on paper. Like, sure, sometimes it turns out how I want it to, but it's like, 
I don't know, man. I, like, my stories and my, like, the characters I do for my stories are always similar. Like, I always choose the girl. I always, like, like, the girl that my characters, I come up with them on myself. But I always have them, like, the same background. Like, I have them with, like, only child or good parent, good parents or bad parents, abusive parents or whatever. I try to extend my options on that. Um, you know, and sometimes I'll put my own, my own, like issues into the story i'll put my own problems in the story i'll put my own um like somewhat childhood and background into the story because it make it's a way for me to cope with all my issues and everything like that it's a way for me to deal with everything that i deal with you know so that's kind of why like some stories turn out the same because it's like I mean, I know they're different in their own ways, because obviously, but the plot line, I know I'm not good with chapter names, I know I'm not good with, like, all of that, but I write a lot. Like, I write over 50,000 words per book, so it's like, obviously I write a lot, and obviously there's so much that I put into detail, and so much that I get down on paper what I think in my head. So that's good. But I just wish that I don't know. I did I mean I kind of wish I can do like maybe like more like maybe like extend something else or I don't know. Cuz one of these days I do want to try and at least be an author. Like, I don't want to, I don't know, um, because one of these days, who knows, I would love to publish a book, but obviously I can't do anything having to do with any of my stories, because it's, first of all, not original. I mean, it is original, but not, like, in its own way, because, like, the characters are from a movie, and scenes are from a movie. Everything is from something. I guess something from anything that I watch, so technically I can't really post anything like that. But my dad said that if I were to just completely just, like, mix up all the names and, like, not have anything to do with, like, the movies or anything that I write about then it would be publishable, you know? And, like, I sometimes wonder, like, how do, how do these writers do it? Like, I wish I could contact them. Like, I wish I could just, like, contact them and be like, you gotta give me some detail. How do you do it? Like, I don't know. <clears throat> it's just interesting how how people just come up with stories and then publish them. <laughs> it just seems so fun. Like I love writing. I love it so much. Like it's just so fun to do. It's just like, I don't know, <laughs> I don't know what I'm trying to explain here, but I just find it fascinating because it's like, I have written over 500 stories, over 500 stories in my lifetime, and I have finished 24 of them, 25 I think. Like, yeah, I'm proud of that. 
I just wish I could do something else, you know? But it's like, I don't know how I'd do that. Because I've only been known how to... I've only been known... I've only been known to write fanfiction. Sorry, I'm... There's two more Merciless books. I didn't know there's two more. I need them. Oh my god. Anyways, I'm getting off topic here, but... I don't know. Maybe in the future, I will extend my reach to... Because I, I like to have my stories have happy endings. I don't like, you know, death of a character. I don't like doing, like, death of, like, a main character or, like, a main person I'm writing about. I don't like doing, like, anything have to do with, like, drugs, alcohol, you know, any of that shit, you know? You know, but I do do, like, all, like, the serious topics. Like, I do do, um, like, suicide and other shit like that, you know? But, I wish I could do a horror book, you know? But I want to know how. Like, my dad, my dad has written stuff. Like, my writing comes from him because he's written stories before. He wrote a horror book called The Cellar. They only got to one chapter of it, but he's also he also did poems too, and I like doing poems. And, like, I, I, like I know, I feel like I know that I can, you know reach out and extend my options of writing but I don't know it's interesting I'll work on it but I have so much in my head right now uh, just about like all these x-men people I gotta write about so yeah I'm gonna do that <laughs> anyways I apologize for my ranting and getting off topic. I did not know there were two more Merciless books. And I need them ASAP. Um, so yeah. That's all I kind of want to talk about. Sorry for the little rant there. Um, but I say to any of you people out there. Who have a hobby that they love. And are passionate about. Keep doing what you're doing. If something doesn't turn out right. No need to fret. Always time to improve. Always room to improve. And try again, because practice makes perfect. I've had to learn that the hard way. <laughs> um, but I love you guys so much. I hope you enjoyed it. If you're new to my channel, be sure to subscribe button. Give yourself a thumbs up. Also, hit the bell so you're notified when my videos are just daily. I love you guys. Thanks for joining, and I'll see you guys later.